Hi guys, before we get into today, I hope you all had a great uh, Panther Tuesday, I know we did. Right then guys, this one's a bit different this week. Um, so last weekend I went to Belfast, what a fantastic place it is. Um, so I didn't, well I wasn't here essentially. So what I did is the week before I went and explored the other plots that are on our allotment essentially. So I thought I'd give you a quick tour of them. Um, just to see what other people are doing down here. Like I said, there's, there's not many of us down here. So take a look and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, as promised, I will give you a quick tour of our allotment. There's only seven or nine plots, so there's not many of us here at all. And very rarely do I see anyone else um, down here, especially in the winter now. But I'll give you a quick tour. So this is Frank's plot. I haven't seen Frank for a while, he's normally down here most weekends and most days. Um, I say he's in his late 70s, early 80s. He lives, I know where he lives, it's not it's literally just around the corner from the plot, so I might go give him a knock just to check that everything's okay and I'll keep updated. But um, this is his plot, he's had his for about 30 years. That tree there is a plum tree. Um, he says he planted that with his children. Um, 30 odd years ago or 30 years ago whenever he got the plot and that was a result of one of the um, stones he planted from the plum uh, him and his children were eating so it's not bad at all for 30 years um, and he gets thousands of plums off it every year but yeah so this is his plot obviously it's next door to mine um, that tree's from his garden I believe um, but he's been digging it over so I think he has been here, but I'm not sure, like I said. Um, he, that's our water, so we get water on here, which is quite handy being next to mine. Um, and if we walk up, <coughs> so that's Frank's front of his plot. Uh, this is plot three. And as you can see, it's really overgrown. I don't think anyone's using it at all. I haven't seen anyone here for a year or two. Um, I know Frank was using his greenhouse last year, or that greenhouse, but haven't seen anyone, so I'll keep an eye on it and maybe let the council know, just so we can get some, someone else can get some use out of it. It took me, it took me about four years to get my plot on the waiting list, so um, I think if someone is not using it, then they should um, give them out. But I'll uh, I'll find out with that. See that that composter looks fairly new, which is interesting. So maybe someone has recently taken it over. Someone could have taken it over and has just started work on it. But we'll keep an eye. This plot, see the guy now and again, mainly in the summer. He used to keep chickens in there. Um, I can't remember if I told you about it two years ago, maybe last year. Uh, I was up here the one day, couldn't hear the chickens, so I thought I'd have a little look. And they were all dead. Um, I don't think a fox had had them, because they were all still in there. But they were all dead. Um, I know he was felting his roof earlier this year. So we'll see. He might be back again. But as you can see, a lot of them are really overgrown. Really overgrown. This plot, again, haven't really seen anyone on it. Although... There seems to be some wheelbarrows which weren't there before and there's been a bit of tidying up. I know it doesn't look like it, but there has been some tidying up done on it. So who knows? These spots have already taken actually and I'm just never seeing anyone. But in order for someone to come onto the plot, they have to come past my plot first unless someone in one of these houses, which is a possibility. So this one is being worked on. Again, I think someone... We had a new guy last year. Um, I'm not sure which plot was his. But it could be this one. Take you further up. That one definitely has had work done recently. This was all overgrown, those bushes. And as you can see, um, or I hope you can see, this bed just been dug over as well and then believe it or not this is another plot which sort of goes up here 
and down there and um, and again they had chickens a couple of years ago where all these bushes are there is more or used to be more allotments on the other side now I'm not sure whatever happened to them but the council just closed them down really and stopped using them so I'm not sure what happened but I think there's another six or eight plots if I remember rightly so who knows so we've got one two you can see the scent. Three. Take it all the way down now. Just show you where we go. That's number four. So as you can see, it's in a built up area. That's number five. That's number six. Frank's is number seven. So mine would be number eight. So there's eight plots, although it's reverse order. So eight plots in total. Um, yeah, so there's not many at all. Like I said, we're surrounded by houses on three ways around and then back to mine. So it should be a good growing year, guys. I'll, uh, I'll catch you soon. Um, see you later. Well, there you go, guys. So you've seen the, uh, the extent of our plants, our plot. Uh, so there's not many of us down here, um, and there's even less because not all the plots are in use I believe um, so yeah there's not many of us it can be quite lonely down here if I'm honest but um, normal business from next week I'll be back here at the plot doing some work I've got some manure coming which is great and possibly some pallets um, we'll see though I don't know if they'll be this week but um, again if any of my viewers are from Belfast or Ireland give me a, a thumbs up and a comment in below um, like I said, we had a great time, um, and we're going to be going back. So, uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Cheers.